All right, everybody, welcome back to another X-Wall Gaming video. X-Wall here, and today, yes, we're back with the Saw content. We're back with another episode of the Salty Batch Files. More salt to be mined, all the good stuff. So let's not deprive you all out there, and let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, what this theme kind of revolves around this time is all the Xbox fanboys out there kind of feeling duped, kind of feeling stupid, left out in the rain, whatever the case may be, whatever scenario fits in your mental capacity to imagine the disdain that they have within their own minds. So let's go ahead and jump right to this here. The first one with Tim Dog turning over somewhat of a new leaf here, but him stating that Xbox fans have been told to take a back seat to exclusive DLC on COD and other games because they choose not to engage this practice. Xbox fans told to take a back seat for PC gaming day and date and still do this day uh, to pay for online, right? Xbox fans have to take a backseat to getting games like Final Fantasy VII and others all the time, like today. Xbox fans get told to take the backseat once again, putting once games exclusive on PS5 and Nintendo, and take a backseat to getting anything back. It's a backseat mentality that I had enough of. So he's been very vocal about this, and rightfully so, and it's about time, actually glad that somebody out of the whole cult of personality has woken up. Now, in response to this, as you can see, we'll pop this up. Da Wheelie, uh, I agree. Just as you said, Microsoft executives don't know gaming. I just hope they stop before the brand is beyond being viable. Well, the brand has stopped being viable for quite some time. Unfortunately, again, I think they've stopped being viable within over a decade. But again, people are slow to wake up. That's kind of what happens in a cult mentality, kind of a cultish circle. That is something that happens. All psychology aside, slowly but surely, more and more begin to wake up and begin to understand what is going on. So there you go. Now, Geosco rakes up here. Clearly tags Xbox P3, which Phil Spencer, Xbox himself, Sarah Bond as well, leaving out Matt Booty and Aaron Greenberg this time. Think Xbox customers are stupid. I think so too, after sticking with them through 2013 and the Xbox One era. Wait for E3, wait for Scorpio, wait for the studios to make the games. Now it's time to pick up and they look at the other side. Oh man, again, we're looking at the fact that they, <laughs> this is all new to them. Uh, it's always been, yeah, wait for E3, E3, wait for this, wait for that, wait for the next most powerful console, wait for everything there. That is the mentality. At least another one's waking up, but they're upset about it. They're now calling it out. It is what it is. Continuing on to good old Snap Blast, Blast Play. He is not going to be waking up, but at least he's kind of... It's kind of shaky here, but take a look here. Quick question, he says, PlayStation are spending all their time making PS5 games for PS5 players. Nintendo are spending all their time making Switch games for Switch players. Xbox are spending all their time making games for everyone. How does this benefit Xbox players? How has it ever benefited Xbox players? Those games have always been available on PC ever since they decided to go day and date. That was a big question that has unfolded over time that has been a driving factor in a myriad of ways, which has caused them to also go for the Game Pass myriad here. So now I would like to say, well, maybe Snap Blast Play is finally waking up as well, but he has been making some more comments and more posts today at the time of this recording. Then he's just back in the circle. He's back mucking it up, saying how everything's great over on the Xbox side. So even though there's some cracks, it doesn't fully go through, as you can see here. But they do at least start to question from time to time. I didn't have to question. Now, if PlayStation games do go day and date on PC, I might start to question because I probably know what's to follow soon after. Let's go on to J-Rock here. So, again, another one. Some more cracks starting to show. You already know I hate the one-way Kumbaya. He hates it. Even though he doesn't play games, by the way. Check out his gamer tag. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't play games. Queen B yells above, and yet the idiotic leadership from Xbox P3 and Sarah Bond will keep going with it, sending more games to PlayStation and Nintendo while not getting anything back. Let's not act surprised when more games skip Xbox, as these idiots are slowly making the brand and console irrelevant. Slowly making them irrelevant? 
Where have you been? They've been irrelevant for a very long time, hence why they haven't even begun to come out of that third place scenario. They make enough to make ends meet. They have Big Daddy Papa, Microsoft Corporation themselves to help fund everything that they do. But for them actually being something as irrelevant, they've been irrelevant for a long time. When they started going PC day and date, when they started implementing renting your games via Game Pass, that is when they started being irrelevant as far as a hardware manufacturer, as, har as far as an ecosystem and hardware console. That's when they stopped being irrelevant, or at least relevant, right? Oh, let's keep on going here. Xbox Wire posting the four games, of course, that we already know, we already talked about. However, TMG quoting, the biggest games in the world will be on Xbox and other consoles, so we don't need to buy ours as our competition has big games they won't move over. Just finishing that sentence for you, Phil, with the eye roll emoji, essentially. So uh, very upset that yes, they get nothing in return, but again, did you expect anything different? You don't even have the quality of games to <laughs> exude something from Nintendo to get some sort of at least a collaboration, maybe like a suit set, maybe some inspired armor from Metroid or something into Halo Infinite or something from Breath of the Wild. No, you get zilch, nada, because Nintendo and PlayStation doesn't need Microsoft. Microsoft needs PlayStation and Nintendo. That's just how it is. Continue to wake up, continue to get upset. The only fool is the one looking in the mirror. Just saying. MRC, I'm so done with Xbox. They are too stupid, doing weird business choices. Customers are constantly made of idiots for picking Xbox as a platform. You are 100% correct there. So, very upset here. Salty. I know a lot of folks like to come in and be like, this isn't salt. This is all salt. I'm reading the salt. I don't have to exude the salt myself in order for it to be salty or to drive someone down in a hole. Speaking factually, this is all salt. Deal with it. No, what we're saying here, going back to the comments, is the fact that you guys have been picking this again for over a decade. They've lied year after year after year. Hence all the memes. Hence all the wait for E3s. Hence for eating other consoles for breakfast. The thing is a monster. You all buy the buzzwords. We've all told you the truth and you refuse to hear it. So yes, if you choose it, you do look like an idiot. That's the way it is. When you have the facts in front of you, you have no one to blame but yourself. Let's continue. Clobril here. Hi-Fi Rush announced for PlayStation 5 coming March 18th as he's made multiple times. This is a very popular tweet. And then we get a response. F you at <laughs> Xbox P3 to Phil Spencer. I'm sure this is some of the lightest stuff he's encountered since all of this news is broke. So uh, is as crude as it can be, you know, they're clearly not happy. And, you know, again, rightfully so. But, I mean, you can't get any saltier than someone cursing it. One of the main corpos that's making a lot of the decisions or at least helping with those decisions. So it's always funny to kind of see those here. Uh, going on to Michael Gabriel here. This guy's a, a something special too. Tag in uh, Phil Spencer himself. Hundreds of billions of dollars later and Sony is still releasing critically acclaimed, massively popular exclusives that put Microsoft offerings to shame. If all the great games are on PlayStation, what exactly is the point of owning an Xbox? This is ridiculous. Again, how many times do we have to tell everybody out there that folks on social media shouldn't be new to this, shouldn't be new to the game, shouldn't be new to the platform, shouldn't be new to how this has all been working. Again, this isn't like two to five years that all of a sudden things have been all kind of up in arms. This has been going on. The path has already been decided upon. It's already been written in the books of what's going to happen. I mean, that's just the way it is. So... You know, that's that's all we're going to get from that. And you want to act like this is new to you every time. The shock Pikachu face. I say it's almost every video. That's what you get for just exuberantly denying what's in front of your face. Simple as that. Going on to Bashan, the... One of the lower of the life forms on social media here, but he quotes, when everybody plays on the Xbox players lose. Honestly, that's how it looks with nothing in return. And then of course, GS Snelling, this is spot on. Nintendo and PlayStation get additional games and Xbox gets nothing but passed on by more games this week. 
it sucks. I, this isn't going to end. All right, this isn't going to end. The four is just the beginning. Like we stated, the dam has the cracks in it. Pandora's box has been opened. Bashan, again, you can maybe see the cracks here, them starting to kind of call it out. But again, today they're posting all this pro Xbox stuff and now it's doom and gloom for PlayStation because they laid off some individuals. They've laid off from multiple studios. We just got breaking news again today. EA has laid off a ton of people. A good chunk of their people have canceled a ton of games. It's industry-wide. It's not just PlayStation. So you want to shift that doom and gloom and try to get that win back. You're right back in Xbox's corner. And then you're going to get right back into this corner like the post you're making right now because of the fact you think everything's just fine until the next game is releasing on Nintendo and PlayStation or whatever the case may be with, again, nothing in return. You're sowing your own seeds. You're making your own bed. You call it whatever you want. It's a repeated cycle here. It's absolutely asinine. It's crazy, folks. But we'll end it right there, not make this too, too long, right? And all that good stuff. But again, I appreciate all that support. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like, comment down below. Would love to hear from you. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing. All the above has helped out the algorithm, helping out the content here and helping out a small content creator like myself. I really appreciate it. This time of recording, we have at least 1,362 subscribers out of the 1,500. So we're getting so close. You guys are amazing. Cannot thank you enough. Thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. And remember, don't be a salty batch. Take care.